Hello everyone and welcome to the FRC Historian. Today, I'm going to be talking about all the Hall of Fame teams, season where they got the Hall of Fame, so that you know what your season is going to be like when you have that opportunity. So as we all know, there's something called the FRC Hall of Fame, where any team who wins the Chairman's Award at the World Championship is inducted in, where they are awarded with the Chairman's Award at the World Championship, invited a day early to the FRC Championship for a pizza luncheon, and then are invited to every single championship now and forever, as, far, as long as we know. So today I'm going to be talking about the various teams who've made it. And one thing that not everyone knows is that all of the Blue Alliance says that there's 27 Hall of Fame teams. There's actually 28. And I'm going to start off and I'll go to the next one later. So starting off with, t with 1992, the X-Cats won the Chairman's Award at the very first FIRST Robotics competition. And just a, just a way of showing just how much FIRST has grown, the first competition was in a high school gym with about 20 teams competing. And that's where the X-Cats were crowned the first Chairman's Award winners. And the, the X-Cats have also won the Chairman's Award again in 1994. The thing in 1992, they were they got out of the competition early. They were awarded the Team Spirit Award and the Chairman's Award, and then they won it again in 1994, winning the Chairman's Award again. However, in 1993, a team called the Labsters won. Now, the interesting thing about the Labsters, they won in 1993, and then they disbanded early on. Not every Hall of Fame team has existed, actually. Out of all the Hall of Fame teams, two have disbanded, being this one, and another one I'll talk about later on. So the thing about the Labsters is, when they won, they were team number seven. However, there's actually another team number seven which disbanded in, t t in 2012. For those of you who do not know about how the number system has worked, before 1999, you, there, was a there was a catalog of first sponsors. And you could have one as your primary sponsor, and whatever your sponsor was alphabetically, that would be your number. So the Juggernauts Team 1 had 3D solutions in 1999. The thing about it was they, they flip-flopped quite a bit. So one thing that not everyone knows is that Team 1 wasn't the first one to be introduced. Team 1 started in 1997. Of course, Team 1 was what they had then. All the numbers change over time. Up until 1999 when they were set in stone. Except for a few exceptions. Now, if they were around today, I think their number would be around 29 from the AT&T, it's called the AT&T Bud Company, I'm pretty sure. That's what it was in 1993. If they had survived, they would have been around team number 29. However, because they did not survive past 1994, I'm pretty sure, they, w they uh, are the only Hall of Fame team that does not have a number. Now moving on to 1995, the team who won it was the Tough Tex. So the Tough Tex in 1995 won the Chairman's Award at the National Championship after getting out early in the New England tournament in Week 1, and then also getting out of the competition in the National Championship. However, the Tough Tex have been around for quite a while. Next up, Team The Rock, which is an acronym. They're from Cincinnati, Ohio. First team to win from outside of either New York or New Hampshire. They won the Chairman's Award and the Autodesk Visualization Award at the championship. I'm just going to let you guys know for right now that for quite a while, you don't really get to know how well they did robot-wise until later on because there isn't too much documentation anymore. So next up, Team 47. For those of you who don't know, that was Team Chief Delphi. In 2009, Chief Delphi and the Husky Brigade, Team 65, merged together to become the Michigan Wings of Fire, making Wings of Fire the third Michigan Hall of Fame team, Blackhawks are the fourth. I'm oh, sorry, they were, at the time, Chief Delphi was the first Michigan Hall of Fame team, and when they merged, now Wings of Fire is the Michigan Hall of Fame team. So if you look at Chief Delphi and their Chairman's Award year, they actually went to three regionals, Motorola Midwest, DECA, and Johnson & Johnson. Where at DECA, they won the Judges Award, Johnson & Johnson, they were number one seed. 
in the national championship, they actually became the championship finalist to Team 45 and also won the Chairman's Award. Okay, now let's get on to uh, the year 1998, where Team 23 PNTA, also known as Pilgrim Nuclear Technology Technological Alliance, actually are one of the only teams to have won two banners at the championship. Of course, I don't feel anyway. They went to the New England Regional and then to the National Championship, where they won the Chairman's Award, and on top of that, won the Woody Flowers Award, Michael Bastani. And they, PNTA has been doing well around today as well. Now on to 1999. The team who won it was Team 120 Cleveland's team. You might know them from being the second pick, sorry, third pick of the, no, sorry, second pick of the Carver Alliance in 2016. They went to the Great, Light, Great Lakes Regional, won the Delphi Power to Simplify Award, and they went on to win the Chairman's Award at the National Championship. Now we're going to move on to the new Millennium 2000, where the Hall of Fame team was Bomb Squad number 16. Now this is the first Hall of Fame team to win a banner in their Hall of Fame year, where they won the Kennedy Space Center Southeast Regional, where they also won Leadership and Controls and Outstanding Defense. Then they went on to the Motorola Midwest Regional, become regional finalists and win quality. And they finally finished out their season of the National Championship where they won the Chairman's Award. Next on to 2001, Team Double Deuce. And about Team Double Deuce, they are that other Hall of Fame team that no longer exists. They existed up until 2006 when they disbanded. And about their year, they went to the Southern California Regional where they won the Judges Award, won imagery at Silicon Valley, then went on to the Einstein Field to win the Chairman's Award. Now on to 2002, Team Buzz Robotics 175. Now this is where I can start getting more available matches so you can know more about them. So this team is actually the first one to get two Chairman's Banners because up until then, banners weren't given around for the Chairman's Award until the championship. They attended the Johnson & Johnson Mid-Atlantic Regional and won the Chairman's Award and have to become being semi-finalist. They went on to the UTC New England Regional and won the Judges Award after going 5-8 and eight and getting out in the semifinals once again. And then this is the first time with divisions as well. So they went on to the Newton Division where they went 6-6 six and six and once again got in the semifinals. But this time being in the red, being upset. Then they went on to the Einstein Field where they won the Chairman's Award. Next up, 2003. We have Team Cybersonics 103. They attended the BAE Systems Granite State Regional where they won the Autodesk Visualization Award. They would go on to win that, region, that award again at the UTC New England Regional. Then went on to win the website and kind of Perkins Caulfield Byers, KPCB, at the, Chief, at the Chesapeake Regional where they went 6-4 and four and got in the semifinals. They would go to a record fourth regional at the new at New York City, where they won the Autodesk Visualization Award once again, and then surprisingly they went on to another regional, Philadelphia Regional, where they won Entrepreneurship as well as the Website Design Award. Then they went to the Johnson and Johnson Mid Atlantic Regional, where they received the Regional Chairman's Award, Regional Finalist, and the Website Design Award. After all of those regionals, they ended their season in Curie, where they went 5-6 and had one tie, and then were the finalists to 494, 25, and 343. Then went on to Einstein Field to win the Chairman's Award. Next up, 2004. This is a name you should all know. The Cheesy Poofs won it in 2004. This was also a, a team of firsts, where they won five banners that year where they won Woody Flower finalist and, original, and won the regional uh, Sacramento Regional. They went on to Silicon Valley to win the Chairman's Award there and won the regional as well. One they have never lost. And they went to the Newton Division, became quarter finalist in their division, 
with Team 217 and then went on to Einstein Field to claim the Chairman's Award. After that, we have 2005, where the Hot Team won it. And about then, their year, they, they actually set another record by uh, becoming the only team, as far as I know, to win the championship and the Chairman's Award at the same time. They actually set a record six banners in throughout the entire year, including the Chairman's Award. They went to the Great Lakes Regional, where they went 11-2 winning and also winning the Delphi Drive Award. Ironically, with Team 66, 67, and Team 68, they went on to the Buckeye Regional to win that one in the finals, going 2-1, upsetting the First Alliance. They went on to the West Michigan Regional to win the Chairman's Award, going 4-7-1. And they finished out their season at the Newton Division, where they won the division with 503 and Beach Bots. Then they went to Einstein Field, where after they won the championship against Team 254, they received the Chairman's Award. Now on to 2006, where Team 111 Wild Sting won. So for their year, they had a phenomenal year, where they went, attended the Midwest Regional, be winning the Regional Chairman's Award, winning the Regional Woody Flowers Finalist Award, as well as winning the Regional. They went on to the Wisconsin Regional, where they won the Regional, and won the Innovation and Control Award, sponsored by Radio Shack. They went, then they went on to the Newton Division to become finalists of their division. Then on Einstein Field, they won the Chairman's Award. Next, on to uh, 2007 where the team who won it was Team 365, the Miracle Workers, where they, went to, where they attended the Finger Lakes Regional and won the Quality Award after becoming Rank 1 quarterfinalists. They went on to the Philadelphia Regional, where they became Rank 2 quarterfinalists, winning the Chairman's Award and the Website Award. Then they went to the Curie Division, where they went 6-4-1, and one, becoming, once again, quarterfinal, quarterfinalists. Then they went on to the Einstein Field to win the Chairman's Award. Next up, 2008, Team 842, Falcon Robotics. In 2008, they went to the Arizona Regional, where they won the Chairman's Award and the Safety Award, Industrial Safety Award. Then they went on to the Los Angeles Regional to win the KPCB Entrepreneurship Award. Then on to... The Las Vegas Regional, where they became regional finalist and winning KPCB once again. And then on to the Archimedes Division, where they became the division finalist. Then to Einstein Field to win the Chairman's Award. Next up to 2009, the Technotics. In 2009, they went to the Connecticut Regional, where they won the Chairman's Award and became quarterfinalist. Then they went straight to the Curie Division. They won the Chairman's Award at Connecticut. Then they went straight to the Curie Division, where they went 4-2-1, and one, and did not place themselves in an alliance. And then went to Einstein Field and won the Chairman's Award. And if you're wondering why I'm putting a lot of emphasis on this, it's because not every team their Chairman's Year does super phenomenal. And that's alright. Because the Chairman's Award isn't always about doing super phenomenal. It's about making an impact. Now, in the year 2010, Miss Daisy won it with four banners where they went to the New York City Divisional, where they won as rank one, got the Entrepreneurship Award by KPCB, and the Website Award. Then they went on to the Philadelphia Regional, where they won the Chairman's Award, the Dean's List Award. They won it. They got the Cooperation Award and the Website Award. All there. And they went on to the Archimedes Division, where they became quarterfinalists. And then on Einstein Field, they received the Chairman's Award. And in 2011, the Hawaiian kids won the championship, won the championship chairmans, becoming the first team outside of the continental U.S. to win it. They would go on to the New York City Regional, where they won the regional as rank five, winning the regional chairman's award as well as the industrial safety award. Then they went on to the Hawaii Regional, their home regional, where they won Vol Outstanding Volunteer of the Year, where they won, won the Regional, won the Quality Award, and the Website Award. They'd go on to the Las Vegas Regional, where they won the Woody Flowers Award, 
where they became finalists, and then they won the Entrepreneurship Award. Notice both teams won finalists at the at the Las Vegas region were finalists to team 987. Next up, uh, they went to the Galileo Division, where they did not rank in the alliance, and then went on to the Einstein Field to become champion, the championship chairman's team. Next up, in the year 2012, Symbotics became the first non-American, the first non-U.S. Hall of Fame team. That year, they won five banners, where they went to the Great Toronto East Regional, where they become rank one. They won the Chairman's Award, they won the Dean's List Award, they won another Dean's List Award, they won the Regional, and then they won the Website Award. Of course, they won that Regional with OP, whom those two have the highest one, to one competition together. Then they went on to the Waterloo Regional, where they became Rank 1 winners with OP once again, where they won the Industrial Design Award, and also the Website Award. Then they went on to the Greater Toronto West Regional, where they became Rank 2 Regional Finalist against OP, and won the Industrial Design Award as well as the Website Award. On to the Archimedes Division, they became the division winners with OP, went on to Einstein Field where they became championship semifinalist as well as chairman's award winner. Next up, on to 2013, the Holy Cows won the chairman's award. And that year, the Holy Cows attended the San Diego Regional, where they won the Regional Chairman's Award, as well as the Excellence in Engineering Award. Becoming semi-finalist, they went to the Inland Empire Regional, where they became Rank 1 winners for the Quality Award. And then they went on to the Newton Division, where they became Division Finalist as Rank 1, going 12-2 and two with the Thunder Chickens. Then on, they went on to the Einstein Field, where they won the Chairman's Award. Now on to 2014, where Team Rush won the Chairman's Award, becoming the first team within a district system to win the Chairman's Award. And because of that district system, they were ranked 2 in the state of Michigan. And they attended the Northern Lights Regional, where they won the Chairman's Award and Industrial Design, becoming semi-finalist. They went on to the Howell, Michigan District, where they won Engineering Inspiration, as well as going finalist there. Only to go on to the St. Joseph first Michigan competition where they became finalists to win the Quality Award. Then they went to the Michigan first championship where they won EI, the Engineering Inspiration Award. They won the Dean's List Award, as well as winning the state championship. Next up, they went to the Archimedes Division where they became championship finalists with the same first pick as they did at the state championship. After that, they went into Einstein Field, where they not only won the Chairman's Award, but also the Dean's List Award, becoming the only team to do those in the same year. Next up, in 2015, Team 597, the Wolverines from California, where in that year, they went to the Inland Empire Regional, where they won KPCB and Entrepreneurship Award after becoming quarterfinalist. They went to the Los Angeles LA Regional, where they won Regional and Engineering Inspiration, as well as KPCB once again. Then on to the Las Vegas Regional, where they won the Regional Chairman's Award, where they got the first Dean's List Finalist Award, as well as the Industrial Safety Award, not being ranked in the Alliance. Then they qualified for the Galileo Division, where they became ranked 25 without being placed into an Alliance. And then on to the Einstein Field, where they won the Chairman's Award. Next up in 2016 is New Best of the High Rollers, who tied the earlier score of six banners their chairman's year. They went on to uh, the Los Angeles Regional, where they won the Regional, this ranked six, and won the Innovation in Control Award. Then they went on to become the rank one chairmen and winners of the Las Vegas Regional, something they're known for. And then went on to the Arizona West Regional, where they became Rank 1 winners and won the Innovation and Control. They finished the season by going to the Galilee Division, where as Rank 4, they won the champ they won the division as well as the Innovation and Control Award. And then they went on to become semi-finalists on Einstein Field, 
note there were eight alliances, so they won the quarterfinals and then went to the semifinals, losing to OP, and then won the Chairman's Award. Next up, we're going to go into 2017. There were two teams who won it, so first I'm going to start out chronologically with Houston, where Thunder Down Under, the second team outside of the U.S. from Australia, won the Chairman's Award. And then this year, they went to the Southern Cross Regional, where they won the Re Chairman's Award, as well as becoming regional finalists and winning the Safety Award. Next up, they went to the South Pacific Regional, where as Rank 7, they won the Regional, as well as winning KPCB Entrepreneurship Award. Next up, onto the Hawaii Regional, they won the Regional, as well as winning KPCB once again. Onto the Hopper Division, where they finished out their season, they became Rank 21, went 8-8, eight and eight, and became semifinalists. And then went on to the Einstein Field in Houston, where they became the Chairman's Award winners. Now, in 2017, they also introduced something called the Chairman's Award Finalist, where they give teams a banner for becoming the Chairman's Award, one of the three finalists, and then they go on to give one of them the winner. Now, let's go on to Team 2614 Mars, where they went at the Palmetto Regional. They became the regional chairman's, where they won the regional chairman's award, as well as the Woody Flowers finalist award, becoming semifinalist. Next up at the Buckeye Regional, they went on to become semifinalist, going nine and six. And then they go on to the daily division, where they became the championship subdivision finalist. And on the Einstein Field in St. Louis, they won the chairman's award. Next up on the 2018 where Team 1311 in Houston won, Kel Robotics won the Chairman's Award. Now, they were part of the Peachtree District, being ranked 7th. And here, they went on to the Gainesville District, where they became the Chairman's Award winners. Then on to the Dil to PHS District Duluth, where they became semifinalists. Then at the Peachtree District State, Champion State Championship, they won the Regional Chairman's Award, becoming semi-finalist, going 1 and 2. Then the Galileo Division, they were ranked 44, did not place an alliance, and then on the Einstein Field won the Chairman's Award. Now for the last Chairman's Award that we have right now, it's Team 2834, the Bionic Blackhawks from Bloomfield Hills, Michigan. And this team went to Gibraltar for their first competition, becoming ranked rank 9 winning the Chairman's Award and the Safety Award, becoming semi-finalist. Then they went to the Belleville event in Michigan, where they became ranked one, the quarterfinals, and then the... Highlands,